This is the third rune of the Elder Futhark, the Younger Futhark, and the Anglo-Frisian Futhark, and in all of them, it represents the same sound value, th or th, as in thing, or that. This sound value is rare around the world. Very few languages have it, because it's a hard sound to make. It's disappeared from modern Swedish, Norwegian, Danish, and German, leaving only Icelandic and English as the Germanic languages which still have it. One sound which replaces it, and the sound which people who can't pronounce the th sound make, is d, and so it makes sense that the rune resembles the Latin d. It probably stems from this letter. It was adopted into the Latin alphabet in English and Icelandic writing, making its twigs into more of a curve. In modern English, it's been replaced with th, but the rune is still used in modern Icelandic. In Old English, it is named thorn, as in a thorn from a plant, and in Old Icelandic and Old Norwegian, it's named thurs, the name for a giant, or more generally a demon-like creature. Its Germanic name has been reconstructed as thurisaz, meaning giant. The Icelandic rune poem says, Thurs, torture of women and cliff dweller and husband of a giantess. The Norwegian rune poem says that the thurs causes anguish to women, misfortune makes few men cheerful. And the Old English rune poem says the thorn is extremely sharp, painful for any warrior to grasp, immeasurably fierce to any man who rests among them. The word thurs existed in Old English. It's a term used to describe Grendel in Beowulf, who was also the kin of Cain. Why this isn't the name of the rune is uncertain. One interpretation is that it was changed by Christians to purge the Futhork of references to heathen mythology. But the term Thurs isn't explicitly associated with heathen mythology. Chris Bishop has argued that Thurs are associated with the nefarious aspects of the supernatural, which may lend some credence to a church-led change. I am somewhat convinced by this. Not that the church would change it because it is pagan, but that they would change it out of some secular belief in the supernatural. But I'll leave the debate on this for you in the comments. Thanks for watching. On the right, there's a playlist of other rune videos. On the left, you can learn about runes in general. You can subscribe for more videos or follow me on Twitter at GuthLackYT.